The Cognitech TriSuite software package includes Cognitech Video Investigator, Cognitech Video Active, and Cognitech Auto Measure. Video Active is Cognitech's real time video processing platform for professional video acquisition, analysis, and processing. One of Video Investigator's newest functions, multi channel fusion, will be covered in this interactive tutorial. Welcome to the Cognitech Video Investigator multi channel fusion tutorial. This interactive tutorial will focus on multi channel fusion applications and fusing two co located videos together. Alternative optic systems are often used to see what standard visible light optics cannot see. Notice how ultraviolet light highlights different features in this flower than standard visible light. Cognitech Multi Channel Fusion combines information from multiple sources by accurately fusing their positions in time and space. Cognitech Multi Channel Fusion fuses two video inputs together. Video can be read from stored files or local live capture card sources. Streaming video from an IP addressable device or a resource on the cloud are available with an optional cloud add-on. Multi-channel fusion combines multiple sources in real time. Fused video is passed to the file writer module which writes the video to the hard disk. The main window shows the multi-channel fusion result. The source list drop-down box allows the user to choose what is displayed. The mixer level control determines the relative percentage of each source that is displayed simultaneously. The configure button opens the mapping configuration window for multi-channel fusion calibration. The mapping configuration window is used to determine the perspective transformation between the two video sources to create a fused video. The record controls allow the user to take a snapshot of the fused video or record the video in real time. The mapping configuration window allows the user to choose the multi-channel fusion sources and establish matching points. The display window shows a single frame from the background source on the left and the foreground source on the right. Video sources are loaded using the browse button. The refresh button updates the static frame shown in the display window. This dialog box displays the number of frames in each source. The alignment frames field synchronizes video sources when matching start and end frames are entered for each source. Alignment frames allow for synchronized playback of two video sources with different frame rates. The zoom fit button adjusts the zoom of sources to fit the window while maintaining the aspect ratio. The X2 button adjusts the zoom of sources to fit the window while maintaining the aspect ratio. The point tools allows the user to match points between the background and foreground images. Multi-channel fusion requires at least four matching points in each source. Using the matching points between the background and foreground sources, the fuse button generates the multi-channel fusion in the main window. The restart button restarts video in the main window. Click the configuration builder to start a manual configuration. The configuration builder allows the user to manually connect modules to form manual configurations. Double click the multi-channel fusion module to add the module to the connection tree window. Double click the file reader module to add the module to the connection tree window. Modules must be connected using the data connection tool. Select the data connection tool in the toolbox. Select the source module. Select the multi-channel fusion module to connect the file reader module and the multi-channel fusion module. Double click the file reader module to add the module to the connection tree window. Select the source module. 
Select the multi-channel fusion module to connect the file reader module and the multi-channel fusion module. Double click the file writer module to add the module to the connection tree window. Select the multi-channel fusion module. Select the file writer module to connect the multi-channel fusion module and the file writer module. Click run to start the configuration. Now that the configuration is running, parameters can be adjusted. Click the multi-channel fusion module to open its parameter window. This is the multi-channel fusion main window. The multi-channel fusion main window displays fused video chosen by the user in the fusion mapping window. Open the fusion mapping window to set up the fusing parameters. Click the browse button for the background video to choose a background video source. Click open to open the visible light video. Click the browse button for the foreground video to choose a foreground video source. Click open to open the infrared video. Close the fusion mapping window to see the fused video. This video has been combined without establishing matching points between the two sources. Notice that features like the shoreline are not lined up, causing a ghosting effect. This is because the cameras have different resolutions and perspectives. Open the fusion matching window to establish matching points. Matching points must be added to properly fuse the two videos. Click on the Add Point tool to start adding points. To make point placement easier, both images have been zoomed. For accurate placement, points should be placed on clearly defined corresponding features, such as corners. Add points to the background image at the designated points. Points are automatically added to the foreground image and will be moved to the proper location in the next step. The matching points on the foreground must be moved to their corresponding features. Click on the Move Point tool to start moving points. Move points in the foreground image to their corresponding locations as designated by the arrows. To save time, additional points were added to other corresponding points. At least four points are required for multi-channel fusion. Click Continue to move on. Click Fuse to fuse the two videos. Close the fusion mapping window to see the fused video. This video has been combined with established matching points between the two sources. Click Record to record the fused video. Click Stop to stop the multi-channel fusion recording. Click Stop to end the configuration. Visible light can provide color information and enhance contrast. Infrared can provide better object detection, especially in nighttime footage, based on relative temperature differences. By fusing these two sources together, the advantages of visible light and infrared light can be utilized simultaneously. Toggle between the resized visible light and infrared images to see the benefits and limitations of each source. This video has been combined without establishing matching points between the two sources. Notice that features like the shoreline are not lined up, causing a ghosting effect. This is because the cameras have different resolutions and perspectives. Resizing the video accounts for the resolution discrepancy but objects are still not lined up due to a difference in perspective. Notice the features like this dock are not lined up causing a ghosting effect. Click continue to move on. Multi-channel fusion accounts for the varying perspective between the video sources and the difference in resolution providing an accurate fusion of the video content. You have now successfully fused two different video sources together 
using multi-channel fusion. Experiment and see how viewing multiple camera sources simultaneously can provide better information. Try multi-channel fusion and see how fused video can work for you. If you would like to return to the beginning, click Restart Course. For sales or technical questions, contact us at sales at Cognitech.com or tech support at Cognitech.com or visit us at www.cognitech.com.